all of a sudden one day he came to office and he said, I want to go to America. I said, you, are you crazy? Why do you want to go there? What will you do? Who will look after you? What will you do there? So he said, kya karo, jana, jana, jana. I said, all right, I'll make this arrangement, then you go. So when the arrangement was made, he was in Bombay. I made all these arrangements with the captain and the ship went. In 1970, Srila Prabhupada um, returned to India uh, with some disciples. Uh, when Srila Prabhupada arrived in Bombay, you could say he took Bombay by storm. People were astonished that Americans and Europeans and Orientals um, could totally accept Krishna consciousness and Vedic culture. I'll never forget the program at Chopati Beach that was organized by the Bharat Sadhu Samaj. There were thousands of people. I could never imagine that so many people could gather in one place to hear spiritual discourses. And we started the Kirtan sitting, and gradually all the devotees stood up on the stage and began to, to, to dance at the front of the stage. Pretty soon, the whole group of us were chanting and dancing through the audience, thousands of people. And they were standing up, they were swaying on their feet, and they got completely captivated by the whole mood, and the whole atmosphere was completely transformed. One of our close friends and supporters, Sadaji Whitlaw, suggested that we should put on our own panda. I mean, for us to put on our own panda then seemed impossible. But Srila Prabhupada encouraged us. By the end of the publicity campaign, everyone knew about the program. And as the final climax to the publicity, Sham Sundar arranged a blimp that was uh, fixed to the site across Maidan in downtown Bombay and that hovered above the city, you know, you know, Hare Krishna festival across Maidan. And on the opening night, Thousands of people streamed into the Pandal, and every night we had about 20,000 people. And on, on the weekends, maybe 30,000. And it was a tremendous success. Uh, then one evening, Srila Prabhupada had a ceremony on stage, a marriage. So the marriage featured Vegavan from Sweden and Padmavati from Australia. And they were married with a proper Vedic fire ceremony in front of 20,000 people. Srila Prabhupada declared, this is the real United Nations. And the whole audience began to cheer and clap, thousands of people. Juhu was just a simple fishing village. There was one hotel there because of the beautiful beach and there were two more under construction and it was considered very 
remote. The explanation of expert devotees is that Krishna was actually not absent from Vrindavan. He came back with Nanda Maharaj as promised. When he was going to Mathura on the chariot driven by Akrura and the gopis were practically blocking, him, blocking the way, Krishna assured them that he was coming back just after finishing his business in Mathura. He told them not to be overwhelmed and in this way he pacified them. We remember him playing in those places because he was constantly visiting them. The Mahabadi text that this Krishna Lila is Maya. They, they are surprised. How God can be uh, affectionate like this? He is a Nidbika, without any attachment. They cannot understand this. Because he's playing exactly like human beings. They, they think oh, he's human beings. How wonderful it is that Krishna took in one hand the big heavy bow made of three joined palm trees and broke it very quickly. How wonderful it is that continually for seven days he held up Govardhan Hill in one hand. How wonderful it is that he has killed all the demons. Mahaprabhu ki tana nitta gita Baditra matyan mena sora sena Raman chakam pasu taranga bhaju bandhe guda si charanara bindam After signing the sales agreement and getting possession of the land, Srila Prabhupada organized a huge pandal right on the Juhu land. And even though it was far from the city and not so many of our friends from the city came, but many of the local people came. And as part of the proceedings, Srila Prabhupada the cornerstone laying ceremony. So, <coughs> we selected this Bombay. Bombay is city is the best city, most advanced city in uh, India. And people are also very nice. They are religiously inclined. Therefore, I wanted to start this center, uh, Bombay, for spreading this Krishna consciousness movement. Although there have been many impediments 
in my endeavor. And still, ultimately, it is Krishna's business, it will come successful. So today, uh, the uh, foundation and cornerstone establishment was done uh, two years before, but there are many, many impediments uh, from the Asuric Jana. Now, somehow or other, we have got little uh, relief from such impediments. So we are uh, putting this cornerstone, this auspicious day, and I am very glad uh, that you have joined us. So the mission is very, very uh, authorized. Therefore, my request is that the uh, inhabitants of Bombay, especially those who are our members, they will kindly take active part how to make this institution very successful in Bombay. This land was ca called Nairwadi. Now it is Hare Krishna land. One day Guruji was here. Myself, Walia, and my wife was there in that room. So Walia said to Guruji that, Guruji, Mr. Nair will not give you this land because he had uh, offered by some hotel owner for 36 lakhs, and you, have, uh, you are purchasing for 14 lakhs. And Mr. Nair has to pay so much income tax, so he must be change his idea, and he will give the land to that person who is offered for 36 lakhs. Then Guruji said, there is no matter if he don't want to give this land to us, that he must return our money. But I don't think that he will, he can pay the income tax in this life. So Guruji went uh, uh, at the night uh, to Sydney. And when we awake up in the morning, we heard that Mr. Nair's heart failed and he died. At the second Bombay Pandal, uh, Sri Shri Kishore Kishori that were later sent to Chicago and installed there were the deities at the Pandal program. And on the last day of the Pandal, during the last kirtan, Srila Prabhupada stood up and began to dance. And of course, the devotees were always dancing whenever there was kirtan and Srila Prabhupada's presence especially. But when he stood up and danced, the devotees went wild. And then Prabhupada began to dance in a circle around the deities, Sri Sri Kishore Kishore, and then the devotees were also dancing in a circle following Srila Prabhupada. Hare Rama, 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 H
beginning before the creation god is existing and after the creation when the creation is annihilated he will be exist this is called transcendental the same clock but the tailor according to the body made a covering of this hand and this looks like a hand this covering of the chest looks like a chest therefore the impersonal means the material covering otherwise the spirit soul is person you say go to the tailor according to your body the tailor will cut a coat the coat in gerian said the coat the cloth that is imperfect but it is made like a person covering of the person in other words the spirit soul is person as much as god is also person in person means the covering try to understand the covering is in person not the uh, living being who is covered he is not in person he is person very simple example the coat shirt is impersonal but the man who is putting on coat and he is not impersonal he is person so how god can be impersonal the material energy is impersonal that is explained that That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya tatamidam sadbam jagat abhaktam muti. This jagat is abhaktam, impersonal, and that is also energy of Krishna. Therefore, he says, "I am expanded in the impersonal form. The impersonal." Teacher is Krishna's energy. So the material covering is impersonal, but the spirit soul or the super soul is personal. Any question in this? This very intricate question. Anyone? If there is any difficulty to understand. Because I have heard 
so many of these so-called yogis in English about Gita or this and that, but they cannot explain. They have, have not even an inkling. I don't know how they can explain. They don't have they an inkling. Can, they cannot touch it in Bhagavad Gita. They have no qualification. They, they, have, are, no they are speaking of Bhagavad Gita as artificial. Yes. They cannot speak because the real qualification, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhaktoshi, one must be a devotee, then he can touch what is Bhagavad Gita. Even in Mayapur, when we went to visit that time, Sri Swami's mm. ashram, mm. and he spoke something in English, and some other man spoke in English, they cannot explain like you. You are the only one that when you speak this knowledge, it becomes immediately enters into the ear and into the heart, and then it is realized. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Besides, I would think also like that. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I'm thinking this is American pension and pleasure. This is Indian pension. Pension and pleasure is the same. Yeah. It is neither American nor African. Pains and pleasure is the same. So, as soon as this consciousness that I am feeling American pains, American pleasure, uh, as soon as this is over, then we come to the original consciousness. Because consciousness cannot be American or African. If I pinch you, the pain felt by you is the same when I pinch the African. Yes. So therefore the consciousness is the same. Artificially we are thinking that American consciousness, African consciousness. Actually that is not the position. Simply this misunderstanding has to be cleared up. That is called Chetra Darpana Mahajan. Is it not a fact? Oh, yes, sure. the, the consciousness of feeling pains and pleasure, can it be American or Indian? No. no it is the same. Artificially we are thinking it is American pain or it is Indian pain. That is artificial. This artificial covering has to be removed. Then we come to Krishna consciousness. Feelings. Consciousness is not American, African, or Indian. Consciousness is the same. Hmm? When you feel hungry, is that Americans feel a different way? Hungry. No. <laughs> the African feels in a different way. The hungry uh, appetite is the same. Now, if you say this is American appetite and this is Indian appetite. That is artificial. So when you do not go to the artificial platform, uh, that is Krishna consciousness. And that is explained in Narad Pancharatra. Sarvapadhi binin muktam tatparatena nirmana. Rishikena Rishikesha Sevanam Bhakti Ishchat. When we become free from these artificial designations, American consciousness, Indian consciousness, African consciousness, there is no such thing. This is artificial. Even bird and beast, they, are, they also feel consciousness, pains and pleasure. Eh? Just like when there is scorching heat, you feel some pain. Is that American, Indian or African? Scorching heat is every feeling. <laughs> if you say that I am feeling scorching heat American way, kill it. Simply these are artificial. 
and everything is depending on consciousness. Uh, everything depending on consciousness. Therefore, Krishna consciousness is the original standard. In 1977, um, we organized the last public preaching program for Srila Prabhupada, the last Pandal program. When Gurudas Prabhu put on the first Delhi Pandal, he invited um, important persons from different fields to attend as chief guests every night and to speak. So we follow the same pattern now for Srila Prabhupada's last, what turned out to be his last public Pandal program. One evening, Srila Prabhupada had Sarup Damodar Das at the time uh, give a presentation to the audience with slides and different scientific arguments in favor of the existence of the soul Srila Prabhupada was so pleased with the presentation. As part of the last Pandal program in 1977, the Vaikuntha players performed Ramayana, and the people of Bombay were overwhelmed. They had never seen such a professional quality performance with beautiful costumes, um, powerful acting and the mood in the Pandal at the time was as if Sita and Lakshman and Hanuman and Lord Ram himself were personally present. Also during the last Bombay Pandal, uh, Srila Prabhupada performed initiations, perhaps the last um, public ceremony with the fire sacrifice and many devotees were initiated on Ram Nomi Day and many of them were given names related to Ram. So it was a very poignant moment when Srila Prabhupada left Juhu for the last time. And within our hearts we all felt that he will not return. And then the car pulled out of the driveway and left Hare Krishna land. We were thinking, you know, how is it that Prabhupada left before the temple opened? His, it's almost as if his life's ambition had been to see that the temple open then. And somehow we came to the conclusion that Prabhupada wanted us to feel his presence even in his apparent separation. And we did. We all felt that Srila Prabhupada was present. And we think now and we thought then of Srila Prabhupada's own words of dedication to his spiritual master, that he lives forever by his divine instructions and the follower lives with him. Nitai Gauda Chanda Parama Kaduna Bahadui Jana Nitai Gauda Chanda Sabaya Bata Sadishira Mani Sabaya Bata ਸਾਬਿਆ Ramayapareshiramani, 
अव्याम तर ऋषि Oh, my God. 